Alrighty, let's do Salvation at the Chapel. Pretty easy. Pretty easy one. I'm pretty overleveled at this point, so... I'm gonna tear through this thing. Captain? Captain! Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain! Thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. Let's see, um, yep, that all looks great. I don't think I ever got support with one heart, so I'll go ahead and do that again. Sure, and Ferdinand can have Constance, and Lorenz can, I don't know. There you go. Enjoy that. Um, so I'm trying to get Byleth to uh, master Warmonk as fast as possible, so I will be sending him, and he will be the primary uh, threat handler, I guess, on this side. There are uh, three students, right? One, two, three, yep. If you save them all, you get an energy ring or whatever it's called, so definitely doing that. And uh, the chest over here has a healing staff, so it is also time to class change Petra back to Pegasus Knight, so she can go get that. Forward. Go ahead and buy her a chest key as well while I'm at it. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. That is the one. And I'll put her down there. Okay, so Byleth, Lysithia, and Caspar should be more than enough to handle this boy. Gambit, do you have the wall? I'd go ahead and make his Gambit more offensive. Mmm, that'll do. Okay, let's go. There really are demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Uh, somebody, help me! You stupid beasts. Don't you dare come over here. So Geralt is also very suicidal in this mission, and if he dies, you lose. Um, in my experience, this student never even gets touched. Uh, and this one will stay in the trees and will heal themselves, so they should last. The only one that really is in threat of dying is this guy, but very close to him, so it doesn't Here matter. <laughs> well done. Let's go ahead and I will get the victory. stride, open the chest back. I 
will prevail. And let's get up here and kick this thing's ass. That's my cue. A great help. Stay focused. Put me in there. Go ahead and pop him, I guess, as well. Leave it to me. Oh no. Oh wow, okay. I was kind of thinking that would just, you know, not happen, but here we go. I guess hard work. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I can help too. Go ahead and gambit him. I'll show you a plan. It's fine. I don't have to be nearly as careful in this as I did in that paralog. This is much easier. What the fuck are these crits? <laughs> I like how he just cackled. The demonic beasts were actually students. How can this be? Magic. You bitch! Beast. There's a stone or something on its forehead. <laughs> I don't know why her dialogue box just pops up and doesn't fucking say a word. That's so goofy. So um, I'm thinking that since uh, I just like double crit that beast, like Gerald doesn't have anything in range, so he may actually not even move. So that's nice. It's a well played situation. Alright, let's fuck this thing up. Think this will work? Bonk. Let the lesson begin. Brutal. Byleth is the giant slayer in this one. Thank you. But my friends who couldn't get away, are they okay? That sounded like Ignatz's voice actor. Might be able to somewhat take my time with this. Probably not, but somewhat. I guess we'll see. I'm curious to see if he'll move. He probably will, but who knows. Yeah, yeah so she's got three elixirs. Oh, you actually have things moving up, huh? Oh my crit. What the fuck? As you can see, Caspar is swole. Oh, okay, he is going. Alright. Okay, so Gambit. I'm here to help. I created a plan. Alright, let's smash this clown a little bit. Does 55 put him in kill range? Mm, 
No. Hmm. Annoying. Oh, wait. That's right. I have an answer. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, we're good. Maybe we should hit him with the Leaven Sword. See how that feels. How's that feel? Damn, that's a lot of damage. Oh, wait, okay. It might actually be enough now. There's still a lot. It's weird how little strength or speed she's gotten. It's just weird. I don't get it. Nice crest proc. Barf. Bruh. No hesitation. There it is. Such power dwells within. That's pretty good. It's simple. You're relentless. All right, Petra, dance. Get your ass over here. Oh, that's awkward. That's a pretty bad level up, if I do say so myself. Are complete. I actually think that was a waste, but whatever. I don't care. Oh, let's see if I can crit him. Fuck it. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Way to go, Bernie. See the killer. The killer bow was the real play right there. Alright, let me go ahead and get that healing staff from you. Boom. So I've never had that student get killed. Alright, homeboy's turning around like he always does. Good crit, damn. Nice hit. Full heal. Homeboy up there can take one more hit before I get nervous. Okay, so... Caspar is basically done. It's, uh, he's just gonna be like too slow to actually get anywhere, so. Okay, so I'm going to bow this guy. Oh, okay. I'm just critting everything. What the fuck? What is happening? Show me more. All right, whatever. Well done. I'm just gonna gambit Edelgard. Get your ass over there. Send Hubes over there as well. Put me in there. Okay, good. You finally dodged something. Jeez. Alright, Gerald's gonna go ahead and whack this one. And Byleth can hit it. Very good. Lagarga. Sure. 
And a step. The glow Mystic Blow, nice. I can't remember which one that is, but nice. Yeah. Alright, he's broke. Very good. And fiendish blow, very nice. Yeah, I guess Lysithia's out too. Whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this level. It's uh pretty easy. Dodge him. Holy shit, you both got <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Hubert! Okay! Gerald stole my kill too! What? Why though? Alright, so that was pretty funny. <laughs> Homeboy got one shot by a fucking blast. That's great. Oh god. That's genuinely hilarious. Yeah, fuck you, Gerald. Okay, that one's safe now. We have marvel at our strategy. There's Fiendish Blow. I will prevail. And it's dead. <laughs> GG. No need to hold back, milady. Sorry. That was a close one. <gasps> you saved me. Thank you. <sighs> there isn't a trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Remire. Perhaps... Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, you dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> survive merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill sorry it looks like I'm going to have to leave you now The first time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet, I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid.
So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Agreed. We cannot let the wicked ones run free. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. Read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat? Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... that Geralt would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh. But I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years. And also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garrigmark. Their love produced a child whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Your mother, she was my... 
Sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? <laughs>